Also in Lagos, the State Commissioner for the Environment, Tunji Belo, says there is need to dredge major rivers in the country to prevent a recurrence of flood situations experienced in many states last year. While playing host to the Presidential Technical Committee on Flood Management, Mr. Belo added that the federal government should acknowledge that River Niger, Benue and Ogun overflow to states close to them once they rise. Esther Mopariola has more. Late last year, Nigeria witnessed the most devastating floods in a decade, causing more than 600 deaths, with nearly 1.3 million displaced. Heavy rains combined with poor urban planning made most parts of the country vulnerable to flooding. Following this concern, the presidency established a technical committee to check each state's policies on flooding and come up with solutions and strategies to minimize the impact on the people. Showing concern about the flooding as well. Receiving the committee on behalf of the Lagos State Governor, Commissioner for the Environment, called for more collaboration between the federal and state agencies. The federal government must also take cognizance of all our rivers. I don't know how long, uh, when last River Niger or River Benue were dressed last. I don't think they've been dressed since uh, independence. And there you've had a lot of encroachment, particularly from the confluence around, Kogi, around Lokoja area, going down to the delta. And then even in the north, a lot of rivers, rivers, I do not river, they also flow, flow into these rivers. And when they flow into these ri ri rivers also, they are silted because of the encroachment of Zara Desert, sand here, here and there, and so on. So the federal government must also lead the way in helping us to also dredge most of these rivers so that the impact can be lessened. Plants have always been there in Lagos managed flooding, which were implemented. So, but the ones that, uh, the synergy that we need right now is for the government at the federal level to really partner with us. On its part, the committee said it will be adopting the bottom-to-top approach to listen to the communities most affected by the floods and provide sustainable solutions. To look at the policies that you have regarding um, flood management, flood disaster management in the state, Secondly, um, to find out the drivers, the factors responsible um, for floods in the state, and then also to find out um, sustainable solutions um, to the flood incident and to the flood issues. In the meantime, the Lagos State Government says it has executed plans to ensure the state doesn't experience flooding based on the knowledge that it is usually affected by coastal, river and urban flooding. Esther Mopariola, TVC News, Lagos.